Hello everyone. Welcome to our seventh lecture. In this video, um, I'll be showing you how to use uh, variables and how can you control a sprite. All right, so let's get started. So first, um, we have a new file. So let's give it a name. Let's say control. Alright, so first thing we want to control our sprite. So maybe you want to go left or right using the arrow keys. So how do you do that? So control, we see that uh, under scripts we have an option called control. And under control you see, um, actually sorry, it will be under um, events. So under events, you'll see when a uh, space key is pressed. But instead of space key, we can use uh, up arrow, down arrow, left arrow, right arrow. So we want to go left and right for now. So when right arrow key is pressed, and when left arrow key is pressed, you can also, I think let's use all of them. So left, right, up, and down up arrow and down arrow so remember um, by default when you use move block it goes from left to right okay so left to right is actually change of x axis okay so if you look at motion you'll see change x by 10 so this change x by 10 means you are going from left to right so let's see the code so if I um, press right arrow I can see that the change is x by 10 right for the left arrow it is also a change of x, but this time it's negative. So instead of positive 10, I'm going to change it to negative 10. Up arrow, that means the character should go up. Going up or down is change of y. So if you're going up, that is change of y, positive. If you're going down, that is change of y. But this time it's negative. Now, um, we can see what happens so if I press up arrow it goes up if I press down arrow it goes down left right okay so that's how I can control my character okay see this is the controlling part and our next important part is controlling a uh, variable and scoring so obviously when you are playing a game, most of the time you need to make score, right? So how can we make score? So under scripts, you have an option called data. From here, you can make a variable. Yeah. So variable means something that changes. Yeah. So what changes? Like time, your age. Yeah, so score that is going to change, right? So that's why we need a variable. So let's say our variable name is score and it's available for all the sprites. So when I set score, I can see on top of the screen there is an option score. If you double click on it, you can see only um, zero. So initially your score is zero. That means when you start the game, I want to say go to data set score to zero. So when you're starting the game, your score is set to zero. And after that, you have to change the score, right? So how can we change the score? Okay, for changing the score, let's add a new sprite. Let's add this apple. So we have an apple, and what we want to do is a very simple task so when 
this cat touches this apple we want to change the score so let's see how we can do that so um, we also want to see uh, the apple moving okay so the apple will not be stationary it will be uh, going up and down so how can we do that if you remember um, okay let me show you so when flag is clicked you want the apple to change the direction because remember by default if I use move block it's going from left to right but I want my apple to go up and down if I want to do that I need to change this block which is called point in direction so remember that I mentioned earlier that by default you start from left to right but you can change it to up and down if I use up that means um, if I use move block later on the apple will start moving up if I use down the apple will start moving down okay so let's use up so point in direction um, 0 then I want to use a forever block so your apple will be continuously moving and I want to add another block if on edge bounds we used this before I think it's on lecture 3 or 4 if you can't remember you can always check those lectures um, so if on edge bounce so what, what what will happen if we press this flag so when flag clicked point in direction 0 then forever move 10 steps and if on edge bounce okay so let's see what happens I can see that the apple is moving fast right okay so what I want to do when remember that we can control the cat so we can uh, move our cat right so what should happen if cat our cat touches this apple let's go will be changed right so let's go on um, cat sprite and then from here we want to do the change so touching is means sensing right so touching what touching apple when you are touching it if remember when you are doing something if condition right so the, what is the condition the condition is when this cat touches the apple the score will be changed right so score is where change the score by one okay so if touching apple let me remember who is touching the apple we are on cat so that means this code is indicating this cat that if this cat is touching the apple then change the score by one okay I also remember I told you whenever you're using if block most of the time you need to use forever block because you don't want to change the score just for once you want to change it every time the cat touches the apple right so that's why you need forever block and obviously you need events without a cap the score will not work so what we said here when flag click forever if touching apple change the score by one there is one more problem uh, let me add that piece wait block remember if I don't use this wait block whenever you touch the apple the score will keep changing very quickly maybe in one second your score will be like 100 if you don't use a wait block so every time the score is changed you are going to wait for one second because you don't want to change the score 100 times right so every time the score changes you want to wait one second and after one second if you see that the cat is still touching the apple then um, there will be another change okay so this weight block is very important if I don't use this weight block you will see something different Okay, let me just show you if I don't use this weight block what happens 
So let's start the game. And we see the apple is moving and our cat is trying to touch the apple. And so you see that the score is changing, but it's changing very quickly. Right? So when you touch, it changes by around 13. So you don't want to do that. So let's wait for instead of one because the apple is moving very fast. So instead of using one second, let's use it in four seconds. You can modify it. If you see that the score is changing by two or three, because you want to change it by one, so you might need to change the weight block. So let's see what happens. So see it's changing by one. Every time you touch the apple, it changes by one. But remember if I um, change the wait time, you'll see it will be different. Okay? So this is perfect. Alright? So that's uh, the purpose of this lecture. So we learned uh, how to use variables to change the score. We know how to control the sprites. Okay? Alright everyone, so that's it for today and we'll do more stuff next time. Bye everyone.